climbed by Cyclone Tane. Six people killed in Kadalur and Puducherry. Kadalur, the worst hit with 5,000 fishermen, left homeless. Wind speeds and rain expected to reduce gradually. Chief Minister Jayalalitha announces a 150 crore cyclone relief package. Deputes four minister to visit the affected districts of the state. Food is being served to all the slum dwellers who are affected by the cyclone. A hot bowl of pongal is being served along with tea. Over 2,700 people in low-lying areas in Chennai evacuated. About 50 trees uprooted following squally winds. To Efforts to remove them to avoid traffic disruption. To bring relief to the people. And that's what we are doing this time. Yeah. Scientists at Kalpakam say they stand on the ruggedness of nuclear plants and preparedness to withstand nature's fury has been vindicated. The two reactors continue their generation of power despite the onslaught of Cyclone Tane. Corporate offices wear a deserted look as many employees choose not to venture out of their homes. Skeletal staff on duty in most companies. NDTV Hindu viewers record Cyclone Thani's disruptive part. This clip is off the Marina Beach. The AIADMK passes crucial resolutions as its general council meets. Lambasa Centre for its stepmotherly treatment of Tamil Nadu refers to Sasikala's expulsion, says the party has seen betrayals before and will stand solidly behind Amma. While light to moderate rainfall does not seem to worry the Tamil Nadu Tennis Association, will the present lineup of players satiate the hunger of more international stars? Hello and good evening. It did not seem like there was a lot before or after the storm. Anyway, Cyclone Tane crossed Tamil Nadu in the wee hours of the morning and a lot of damages were caused, much to our dismay. We are following that closely on News Tonight. This is Anu George Kanjana Topal for ADTV Hindu. Let's take a quick look at the national headlines. BJP hits out saying the government ran away from voting, calling it freedom at midnight and called it as a planned choreograph by Prime Minister and Pranab. But the government defends itself. The Parliamentary Affairs Minister blames BJP saying they were giving against giving constitutional status to the Lokpal. The government's ally Trinamool hits out. MP Derek O'Brien says what we saw yesterday was a caricature and the government handled the situation very badly. RJD MP who tore up government papers triggering the opposition called plan chaos saying he's proud of what he did with no regrets. Kiran Bedi says the onus lay with the government to pass the bill and that it did not do its homework says it was the best and worst of parliament. Foreign Minister SM Krishna has written to Anish Bidwe's family government asked Corona's court to expedite release of the body. CNG prices are hiked by 1 rupee 75 paise per kilogram with effect from midnight to Much to uh, the relief of Tamil Nadu, the severe cyclonic storm Thane crossed the coast this morning. It, however, claimed six lives, causing extensive damage to Kadalur and the neighboring Union Territory Puducherry, which remained cut off from nearby districts. Five people died in Kadalur in incidents of wall collapse and electrocution. An official report said that around 400 trees were uprooted on the Kadalur Chidambaram road, resulting in suspension of vehicular movement. Power production at the Lignite Navy Corporation was also affected as the mines were submerged. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister Jay Lalitha has allotted Rs 150 crore for immediate relief measures and also directed four ministers to visit the districts which bore the brunt of cyclonic storm Thane. After chairing a meeting with uh, senior department officials, Jay Lalitha said she had asked her cabinet colleagues to visit the worst hit districts of Kanchipuram, Virupuram, Nagapatnam and Kadalu. She also directed the district collectors, deputy collectors and department secretaries to assess the extent of the damage caused by Thane and submit a report. She added in her statement that four teams from National Disaster Management were also sent to Kadalu, Nagapatnam, Chennai and Tiruvallur districts. The city corporation moved more than 2,700 people to safer areas and made all arrangements including provision of food. Around 50 trees were uprooted following the overnight squally winds. However, no casualty or injury was reported. Meanwhile, high wind speed reaching up to 90 to 100 kilometers per hour and gusting to 110 kilometers per hour is likely on and off 
North Tamil Nadu and Puducherry coast and adjoining areas of North Interior Tamil Nadu during next few hours and then will decrease gradually. As the corporation relief measures are underway, our reporter Krishnamurthy visited Srinivasapuram slum to take stock of the relief measures. Let's listen in. I am at one of the slums in Srinivasapuram which is uh, affected by the cyclone. Now the corporation has undertaken a lot of relief measures. What you see right now is uh, food on wheels which is being undertaken by the corporation. Now there, the food is being served to all the slum dwellers who are affected uh, by the cyclone. A uh, hot bowl of uh, pongal is being served along with tea. Now, uh, let's in fact talk to the co co area councillor who is undertaking this uh, job. Ama, I am going to say that 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 I am going to Sir, and the relief camp is not going to be able to get the relief camp. I am going 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 to get the relief now, this, this effort has been undertaken only because most of the slum dwellers didn't wish to uh, go to the relief camp which is also being organized by the corporation. Uh, 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 over here there are some uh, schools and also uh, also ma marriage halls which have been, uh, uh, which have actually uh, turned up as uh, relief center. But most of the people uh, didn't want to leave their belongings and go to the relief center. So the corporation arranged this and uh, in fact they are also going to uh, serve lunch and along with uh, even evening tiffin for all the people belonging here. So this is one of the unique measures which are being undertaken by the corporation uh, owing to the cyclone. It is business as usual at the Kalpakam Atomic Power Plant as uh, Cyclone Tane lashed the coastal districts affecting normal life. S. Ramamurthy, Madras Atomic Power Station Director said that all precautions were to be taken as per the operating procedure for emergency conditions for cyclone were taken in the warning period. The two power plants of Madras Atomic Power Station located on the Kalpakam coast were generating power as usual. He also added that there was no disturbance to any of the operating systems including the power supply systems during the entire period. And the corporate world in Chennai also took a hit as the IT offices and corporate companies function which is bare minimum number of employees on roll today as no employees dare to venture out of their homes during this cyclonic storm. Here is what many had to say about their experiences. Nearly uh, 10 to 15 people from my company to this four location and really we are struggling and, and I'm coming from auto from Kandan Saudi bus stand and uh, getting an auto is also very difficult now in this rainy season and nearly like only 25 percentage has come today um, probably we have hot pressing commitments so we are coming to office so how do you plan to go high? Do you plan to leave early today yeah probably leave early today okay. how do you come with public transport or your own transport I, I, i'm coming by public transport uh, so, how so is the scene like over there uh, the, every all buses are late uh, like uh, but uh, one good thing is that uh, buses are less crowded look at the infrastructure inside the perungudi road of uh, Perengudi and go inside Perengudi actually here it is a residential area but it's very difficult to come out because road are, roads are very bad actually I got message from my TL today because of heavy rains so GSS is going to be holiday so I, st I stopped in my home itself uh, again uh, they called me this is, uh, today is urgent works are there because of Mandan that's why I came here Madiyala Rumbo road Rumbo damage on the other Rumbo Peri obviously Aram Aram Rumbo Savari Aula English Rumbo problem mark the current is rumbo road la current ah irundhu vende romba road la damage aayi romba problem ah most of the people are uh, not uh, yet come and partially they are coming uh, here and the road side uh, some of areas like velicheri and other uh, sectors its uh, water is there and uh, there is no uh, place to see where is the good place to ride and most of the people are coming from bike uh, they are not uh, in uh, Good position to come here. Kerala uh, was 6:30 shift, but it is a little late. I reached. For about 6:50, 6 o'clock, that was only login one hour. That time I reached. You know, maximum or five hours. That was only one hour. Delay. I reached. We were there. Five people leave. That time. 
ஸோ ஈவினிங் போகும்போதும் கண்டிப்பாக டைம் ஆகும் NDTV Hindus viewers have recorded the cyclone Thani's destructive path. This clip is off the Marina Beach. Let's take a look. Just when the city thought that everything was hunky dory after Thane crossed Tamil Nadu a cargo ship was found washed ashore near Napier bridge due to strong winds the sea condition was observed to be very high along and off north Tamil Nadu Puducherry and adjoining South Andhra Pradesh coast and fishermen were asked not to venture into the sea நாங்க வீட்ல இருந்து பாக்கும்போது எங்களுக்கு அந்த வீட்ல செவர்லாம் இருந்ததுனால இவ்வளவு ஃபோர்ஸா இருக்குன்னு நினைக்கவே இல்ல இங்க வந்து பாக்கும்போது இவ்வளவு பெரிய கப்பல் அந்த காத்து அடிச்சுட்டு வந்துச்சுன்னா எவ்வளவு ஃபோர்ஸ் ஆகுது இருக்குன்னு எங்களுக்கு இப்ப பாக்கும்போது தான் தெரியுது உண்மையிலேயே ரொம்ப எக்ஸைட்டிங்கா இருக்கு அந்த ஷிப்ப பாக்குறதுக்கு top decision making bodies of the ruling ai admk its general council and executive met today for the first time after the party stormed to power defeating arch rival dmk in the recent assembly polls this meeting assumes significance as it comes close on the heels of the expulsion of ai admk supremo jayalalitha's long term associate and close aide sasikala and her relatives from the party the ai admk passed crucial resolutions at this general council meet Now the executive committee lambas the center for the stepmotherly treatment of Tamil Nadu and with reference to Sasikala's expulsion said that the party has seen betrayals before and will continue to stand solidly behind Amma Karan the aandhi ide december thingale karanathil vetrikana countdown thodangi vittathu endra naam soolurukkane immiyum pesagaru உண்மையாக்கிருக்கும்ாக்கிருக்கும்ாக்கிருக்கும்ாக்கிருக்கும்ாக்கிருக்கும்ாக்கிருக்கும்ாக்கிருக்கும்ாக்கிருக்கும்